This video is sponsored by Timbro. Today I'm going to show you three really useful slash chords that you can substitute in to common chord progressions to spice them up and add extra detail. For example, imagine in our chord progression we had five resolving back to one, the effective but predictable resolution of G to C in the key of C. But instead of doing the G, instead of doing the five chord, you could substitute it with this chord. It works in the same way as G, G to C, F over G to C, but it has a far more lush and intriguing sound. So let's dive in with this first example that I've got here. Basically, it works in any key you like, but I'm doing it in the key of C here. You take what is usually the fourth chord of the key, so this would be F, and place it over the fifth degree of the scale, so G, F over G. Now, it's always good to bulk it up as an octave in the left hand as well. And this provides a fantastic way to cadence back to the one. It's a really lush sound. It's a chord that, if we were giving it a full name, could either be described as G11 or perhaps more accurately G9 sus4. We can see this 4 over 5 chord at work in The Long and Winding Road by The Beatles, although here we're in the key of E flat, so chord 4 is A flat and the 5th degree is B flat, so we have an A flat over B flat chord. The long and winding road that leads. So you can hear the impact this chord is making. This is what it would sound like if it was just a regular B flat chord here instead of the A flat over B flat chord. The long and winding road Another example of this 4 over 5 chord is Don't Know Why by Nora Jones. This time we're in the key of B flat, so the 4 chord would be E flat, the 5 is F, so we have E flat over F, and this is once again resolving us back to the 1 chord in that really lush, satisfying way. Don't know why I didn't come. So that was our first slash chord, that was the fourth chord of the key, F in the key of C, over the fifth degree. The next slash chord we're going to look at is effectively the opposite. It's not the fourth over the fifth, it is the fifth over the fourth. So G over the fourth degree of the scale, F. Now this chord is really commonly used in a chord progression I talked about in a previous video called the Royal Road chord progression, the very typically Japanese chord progression. Now that chord progression goes four, five, three, six. And how we can build in this slash chord is like this. So did you see that when we were meant to go to the five chord, the right hand went to 5, it went to G, but the left hand stayed on where it was, the F. And we get this beautifully sort of floating sound. We can see this 5 over 4 chord at work in Peaches by Jack Black. This song is using that 4, 5, 3, 6 Japanese chord progression that I was talking about before, which may not be a coincidence considering this song was written for the recent Super Mario film. This song is performed in the key of D flat, so the fifth chord of the key is A flat, and it's here played over the fourth degree of the scale, G flat. Peaches, 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 peaches. Ah! So you can see this chord is operating as a 5 chord, because even though we're describing it here as A-flat over G-flat, what we effectively have here is an A-flat 7 chord in 3rd inversion. So earlier in the video we had the chord G over F, now we're going to have the chord G over A. This is what I would call the Tiny Dancer chord, because it's used by Elton John in the chorus of Tiny Dancer. Now it's effectively a A minor 11 sound, but missing the 5th and the 3rd, so you might be more inclined to call it A minor 9 sus4, and that D would be the sus4. But however you look at it, it's just a G triad over the note A, 
and we can use it any time that we were going to play the sixth chord of the key in the key of C that would be A minor so instead of playing A minor we just throw in A over G instead and we get this very beautifully kind of hovering open sound as I mentioned, this chord is used in Tiny Dancer by Elton John, specifically in the chorus where we can hear Elton going up various inversions of G over A. So in his left hand, he's playing A, whilst in his right hand, he's going up different inversions of G, getting this climbing effect through the chord. Today's sponsor is free to use, so if you want to check it out, if you want to help the channel, then you can do so at completely no cost to yourself. It's not a free trial, it's just free for you to use, and it's called Timbro. Timbro is a fantastic interactive way to learn how to play the piano or the guitar. Timbro presents the music in a really easy to understand way and listens to you as you're playing to give you instant feedback on whether you've played it correctly. There's a whole range of different pieces available on the app, some of which really are quite challenging and advanced pieces. So Timbro really can help anybody at any stage in their piano playing journey. Timbro is also great for guitar as well, not just teaching you songs, but teaching you theory that's useful on the guitar. For example, knowing which notes you're actually playing on each fret of the neck. As I said before, Timbro is completely free to use, so do check it out using the links down below and you will be directly helping the channel every time you do so. Thanks very much. If you can think of any other examples of interesting slash chords that you can use in chord progressions, then do let me know down below in the comments.